Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. This is the time of year when there are a lot of parties going on. They can be soirées or dinners. There's a French recipe that is always a crowd pleaser and it's Gougère. These bite-sized cheese puffs are pure yumminess and ideal for any event. So let's start. First, we'll make the pâte à choux, also known as choux pastry. In a medium saucepan over medium heat, we'll add shortening and water. Bring to a boil and then when the shortening is all melted, we'll add the flour mixture, which consists of flour and salt. We'll stir vigorously until it releases from the sides of the pot and forms a ball. I go super fast with the directions because there's already an episode on choux pastry. So to view it in more detail, click on the top right corner of your screen. We'll remove from the heat and transfer the mixture to the bowl of a stand mixer. To help the steam evaporate faster, using the paddle attachment, will beat it on medium-high speed for one minute. You can actually see it escaping from the bowl. When time is up, we'll let it sit and cool off for three minutes. And a few minutes later, on medium speed, we'll add eggs, one at a time, and mixing very well between each addition. If we add them all at once, it would be a gluey mess. When they're all incorporated, We'll add an egg white and process again for only 30 seconds. Next, we'll add a couple teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Can you use yellow instead? The answer is no. <laughs> to know why, I explain more on the blog, so check it out. We'll now add the cheese. You can use Gruyere, Comté, or even sharp white cheddar cheese and also some thyme leaves, dried rosemary, and freshly ground black pepper. We'll process once again until everything is nicely blended, making sure to clean the sides and the bottom of the bowl. Next, using a portion scoop, the size I'm using is about a tablespoon, We'll measure out the dough and drop it onto a large baking sheet lined with parchment paper, leaving about two inches between each. We can put them directly in the oven and bake or transfer to the fridge as well as the freezer. My guesses are showing up later, so I'll put the baking sheets in the fridge. Either way, when we're ready to bake them, We'll brush on an egg wash, which is simply an egg yolk beaten with a tablespoon of water. I prefer the way they look when they're brushed. Here's the difference. See, this one is dull versus the shiny one brushed with an egg wash. But if you want to skip it, go ahead. All right, so we'll now transfer the baking sheet to a 425 degree preheated oven and bake for three minutes then reduce the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This time, we'll bake the gougères for 30 to 35 minutes or until they're puffed and golden. If you froze them, add more time when the heat is turned down to 350, about 8 to 10 more minutes. When they're done, we'll remove from the heat and serve them immediately. And my friends, these are our gougères, also known as cheese puff. Deliciously cheesy, these are perfect for entertaining. These little guys make the greatest hors d'oeuvre for your soirée or when having guests over for dinner. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!